Welcome to Premore View Center and inside a brand new 2024 Forest River Cedar Creek 40 CRS. A very popular option for clients, especially if they perhaps own their own property, are lucky enough to have found a site maybe with a water view or a view of something that's fairly attractive here at the back with the rear facing living room here in the rear really helps to capture any views you may have towards the back. And what makes the Cedar Creeks so popular for our clients is just the fact that it does bring the inside or the outside inside, I should say. So on a day that's a little darker or perhaps rain's kicked up, again, you still feel like you're outside with the size of the windows and the number of the windows that we have here. So we do have uh, the option here for the dual pane windows. So that should help uh, keep it a little cooler in the summer, especially when you're running one or two ACs and hopefully allow you just to run the one AC and couple that with ceiling fans are integrated as well. We're going to start here just as we walk in the main patio door. That's also a dual pane patio door. We do have many of our controls here for basic items uh, like lights, like our ceiling fans. We have our slide out rooms here, our awning switch on the outside, and then we have the ability to check on the levels of our tanks as well. So again, very handy right by the door. And then just around the corner from that, uh, we do have the ability to play with our two air conditioners on board here as well as uh, our kitchen area we do have a max air fan that's uh, going to be controlled here as well so we can turn that on if we just wanted to be able to exit that hot air as we get in and not necessarily always run air we've got a great little spot here to be able to hang a couple of coats and some additional space up top where you could tuck away some wallet and keys and those kind of things and just keep them out of sight as we come into our kitchen area here We've got wonderful storage here. If you are somebody who likes to entertain, you just have a world of room here to be able to keep extra dishes. So if you want to keep some good dishes, you've got lots of room to do that here, maybe off to the side, or perhaps create a, either a bar or a coffee bar here, because you've got the plugins and you've certainly got the storage here in the drawers. So this could be that dedicated area for those things. If uh, you certainly enjoy your coffee in the morning, or you like to entertain and have, again, a bit of a bar set up that everybody can enjoy. Being right next to the fridge, you've got easy access to ice and those kinds of things. You've got USB charging there as well, as well as a great little backsplash to, again, make it nice and easy to clean up here as well. Central furnace just below some of our storage there. Massive double door fridge here. So if you're on fridge, separated freezer as well. So lots of, again, space to be able to keep things in there to entertain if you've got those occasional guests that come up and see you. In the island here, they've reorganized this just this last year. Great little feature here if you have occasional gas. Again, you like to entertain, you want to leave some food out, so sort of a sideboard, but it could also be, again, an area for grandkids to uh, join you and uh, extend some seating. But it can also serve as a desk, as many of our clients are using this area as a bit of a desk as well. So it just pops away when you don't need it. And then on the back side, you're going to have, again, lots of storage in the island, a massive sink, all solid surface countertops throughout the kitchen as well as on top of the bar here area as well. We've got a beautiful stainless steel sink here, so farm style sink, great storage underneath, lots of drawers here as well. As we get to the end, you do have some power and you do have a USB connection as well. So lots of places to charge devices. And then we come into the primary area of our kitchen here. We've got a full size range with uh, three great big burners, the ability to again, cook a chicken, cook a turkey. So it's meant to be something that you can certainly live comfortably for six months, perhaps longer. Uh, many of our clients do. In some cases, they may have the same unit uh, in a warmer climate down south and just go between the two and it's a, a wonderful lifestyle for them. LED lights throughout. So very, very bright here on a darker day today. And you've got a beautiful little fixture here in the center. We've got Bluetooth speakers in the ceiling so they can connect to the devices you may have. Again, just a ton of storage here for those daily dishes, those daily items you may use. And then speaking of storage, something they redesigned for last year and keep improving. We've got a little hidden latch here. We've got our hidden pantry. So it also serves as a bit of a closet as well, but you name it, it can be a place to store the pantry items, but it also can be a place to store it. Maybe some of those home office items if you are working from the road working from the cottage so you can plug in devices to charge overnight but keep all that stuff hidden away and it can still be customized for you things like command hooks would be handy in here and again you can add some more hanging storage if you wanted to as well but very very versatile here and again they're trying to make great use of space that in the past may not have been used as well you're gonna have a little drawer here in the center place to hide some remote controls and then you've got your 120 volt built-in electric fireplace here so a great little space heater when you're watching a movie relaxing don't necessarily want to listen to the furnace and you've got your television right across from the primary seating area which would be the powered recliners here that we have but we also have this great queen size sofa bed so very comfortable to lay it on have a 
have a little afternoon nap on, watch a movie, watch uh, watch the game. You've got windows that'll open on the bottom there, so you can get some fresh air. If you, again, if you're not someone who wants to run air all the time, and then we do have that ceiling fan right above, but you also have that air conditioning unit there as well. So, just wonderful views again here. You've got the dual shades. So you've got the light shade here if you don't necessarily want to block out all of that sun and you've got your blackout shade here throughout so you've got those throughout the coach and again the ability to quickly make a full-size queen-size bed so if you have occasional guests or grandchildren you're going to have lots of space here when this is out to still fully walk around it as well as we come into the primary eating area here you've got some versatility so you've got some ability to store some items underneath here but still have that secondary seating and then you've got your two chairs we do have a little extension here as well that we can pull out should you need a bit of an extension but then you also have as we just saw that flip up counter extension as we come in the door especially when you have guests and naturally many of our clients will build a deck off here it's nice because you have your bathroom just inside the door to the right so if you're entertaining easy for them to get to they don't have to walk through the whole coach and you really have a very livable bathroom here something that mimics more maybe the bathroom you may have at home so you've got a huge shower here very high ceilings inside and then when you add the skylight to that as well you get that natural light Great little seat in the shower again it can be comfortable for a long time you've got a wonderful rain shower here as well so again much more mimics what people have in their home bathrooms now and then we've got a rain sensor fan in here as well lots of space to be able to store extra towels hanging storage for bathrobes towels all that good stuff and again great storage throughout the vanity you've got some undermount lighting as well in the kitchen and the bathroom so you can leave those on at night and especially if you have visitors they can see what they're doing without having to light the whole place up we do have our secondary door here in the bedroom, so you do have a direct entrance into the bathroom ba bedroom. So if you're entertaining, and again, you have that deck, you have that easy entrance to your bedroom if you wish. Massive window here, again, looking out to that deck area should you build one right there. And then we've got great storage at the foot of the bed, great storage under the bed. The whole bed will be on a platform. It will lift up and you've got some divided storage there. We've got the built-in heater here in the wall. So great little electric space heater that can help heat this small space with the door closed. And that should mean that you don't need that furnace on even if it's a cooler night i love the fact that you've got great little windows that will open on either side of the bed you can actually get some cross ventilation right where you may want it to cool off in the morning and you've got a place for a cpap machine a place to be able to charge a device so each side will have its own light each side will have its own usb and then each side will also have that 120 volt plug-in so if somebody does have that cpap machine no worries you do have a little place here that would be great to charge an ipad at night well above your head there with 12 volt and then very deep cupboards over top of the bed and then it is full storage eight feet of storage across here so we do have a washer dryer prep but if that's not going to be used for washer and dryer which many of our clients do not then that is going to be a secondary area where you can hang many items use it for all kinds of different devices but it is pre-wired for washer and dryer so you've got great storage along the side here a great place to put shoes bulk storage up top then full closet here we've got a hidden spot here for our vacuum cleaner that comes with the coach and again another plug in here so you could have devices plug charging in there as well we've got our four drawers here and we've got a great hidden spot here it could be a place to be able to uh, hide away some of the jewelry some of the makeup things like that and keep it out of prying eyes and then again the ability to open the bottom of the window here get some ventilation and then we do have entertainment in the bedroom as well so we've got a tv here we do have again a secondary AC unit We've got our ceiling fan as well. So with many of the windows open, that ceiling fan on, you may not find that you have to have that uh, air conditioning on and certainly not the one in here, perhaps the one in the main area here as well. So we'd invite you down to Prima RV Center to come have a much closer look at this absolutely stunning 2024 40 CRS in Forest Rivers Cedar Creek Cottage Series.